So my name is John Russell, of course, and um, this is my third follow-up coming for just four days, a little tune-up, maintenance for the body. But, but the, the last time I was here was back in November, and I stayed for 12 days. And in November, I was still just in recovery at that point. I still had my, um, my JP drain bag attached because of my ascites, and I got that taken out. I had that for six months. And um, I was still kind of just weak in the body and still recovering, and so that follow-up was really good to get a tune-up and take me to the next level. But, you know, I was cancer-free prior to that when I came the first time in May of last year, in 2017. And it was May to June that I stayed for six weeks, and I got my cancer results back, or the test results, that I was cancer-free in um, June. And it was like two weeks, two and a half weeks, after just being here. So I stayed for six weeks just for good measure to just, you know, I got really depleted. I was in a bad way. You saw me when I first came. And um, so I stayed the full six weeks just to get all the good therapies. And it took me to the place of being cancer free. And then, you know, allowed me to go home and do the recovery that I needed to do. And then um, fast forward to today to where I am now. As you can see, compared to the first interview and the first time you saw me, I've gone through a transformation completely. At home, I've been um, just taking a nice diet, keeping up on my supplements, and I practice a lot of meditation, a lot of spiritual transformation work, um, a lot of the integration of the shadow is what I call it, and dealing with the past traumatic things that happened in my mind from childhood and in the emotional body from, you know, earlier adulthood, things that I suppressed and repressed and didn't realize that would be a factor on the body level, you know, and so. Being here the first time, I learned to really tap into that aspect of healing, you know, psychological and emotional healing, spiritual healing. And so I maintain that still with a good lifestyle, keeping the mind positive, keeping the heart happy. And I'm a musician, so that's a great outlet for me to play music and to have a, a source of, you know, creative outlet. And I do other things. I'm an herbalist, I'm a Ayurvedic practitioner, and helping other people too is another way that makes me feel good help my body stay healthy as well. Yeah, right now, um, during my follow-up, he's giving me a nice, um, he said, a, like more of a full spectrum, extra, extra strength, if you will, um, protocol with my therapies because I'm only here for four days. But he's treating it like I'm here for like 10 days. And so that's just for a boost and for a maintenance, but he says I look good. My blood work came back just perfect, and um, there's no signs of anything that has come back or any recurrence of the disease. But it's just good to be here to get the tune-up, and Dr. Bautista agrees. He says, come back every six months if I can, and I'll do that for the rest of my life. I feel that everybody should be doing this type of therapies, because we all produce cancer cells every day, and if our immune system gets compromised somehow, some way, it's gonna manifest as that disease. But um, doing these therapies keep your immune system strong, keep your body detoxed, and just gives you that extra boost. And so I think this winter time, I probably won't even get a cold or a flu just from coming here, you know? Oh yeah, the experience is beautiful. You know, the staff, I've always say, I say it to everybody. Everybody at ITC are just angels, full of compassion, full of generosity, a lot of love, and every time I call, I get a call back immediately. The entire staff, I just met Gulf Stone, who's helping be an advocate, and he's just amazing on the phone, and so positive and welcoming, and the energy is always nice and beautiful. Yeah, people do hesitate. I hesitated myself, you know, not knowing where to go, um, being given a grave, um, diagnosis, <clears throat> you know, something they say it's, there's a death sentence, it makes you afraid. You don't know what to do at that point. You get confused and you get scared. And so I encourage people to take the step and to understand that I feel, in my opinion, that the medical system here in Mexico is far more advanced than it is in the United States. That's my opinion. I've learned that. I didn't know that before I came. But coming here because of my own experience and seeing also other people becoming cancer-free, it's like, wow. And to take the, take, take the step, have courage, 
come along, do your due diligence, do your homework. Everybody in the staff here you can talk to, you can ask questions, you get a lot of good feedback, you get all the, all the good answers. And it's not about the money. You know, a lot of people have issues with, oh, that's too much, or I don't have that much money, or do they just want the money? They're, are they really curing cancer? I figured it out. Like, it's, it's really authentic and genuine what ITC is doing here. And if you just raise the funds any way you can, they are also workable, they help you make it accommodable to what you can afford, and make, make, the, make the mission come down. And you'll find that um, it's one of the best decisions that you'll ever make. That's what I feel.